one, two, three, four, five, six. Well, I heard there was a secret chord David played and it pleased the Lord. You don't really care for music, do you? It goes like this, the fourth, the fifth, the minor fall and the major lift, the baffled king composing Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. Hey, it's Duke Lally from Yukamalam here. Thanks for stopping by. Today, it's all about Hallelujah by Leonard Cohen. We did a picking Yuktoria last week. So the pattern we're using is the 6-8 pattern number one from last week's sheet. If you've gone and grabbed it from the Patreon page, fantastic. If not, I'll show you how it goes. So the pattern goes like this. Thumb at the top. Each of these fingers has their own string. This is string number three two and one, but this is finger number one, two and three. Uh, who makes these rules? Anyway, we're gonna go thumb, finger one, finger two, finger three, finger two, finger one, and that's the end of the cycle. So we have, these are the beats I'm counting now. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Way, I'm holding a G chord. Now, I'm going to play the song with the lyrics section. I do something different in the intro, which I'll show you in a minute. Here we go, playing through the song, starting with the G chord. Well, I heard there was an E minor secret chord, that G. David played and it pleased the Lord, but you, see, don't really care, D7, for music, do you? G, back to D7, hit G, now here's the part where I change the picking pattern, when we go to the C chord, then straight to the D7. It's a half measure. So instead of playing the whole pattern, like so, I'd like to hear the bass note again. Therefore, I'm going to do a double thumb, which goes like this from the C, and then back to the thumb again. So all together it goes like this, from the G, goes like this, the C to the D7, E minor, major lift, D7, B7, to E minor. The beauty of this verse of the song is that it's using the notes and intervals of the scale, the major scale. So we have, we're in G, so we have G, A, B, C, D, E, F, G. It goes like this, the fourth and the fifth. So if we are already on the G, the fourth is one, two, three, the C and the fifth is the D 
which we're doing a seventh chord. Some people play this song using a D major. I'm using the D seventh because it's a bit easier. It goes like this. The fourth C is the fourth chord of the scale of G. The fifth D7 is the fifth scale of the key of G. The minor fall is the E minor, which is the sixth. And the major lift, the baffled king composing. Hallelujah. Interesting little music lesson right there in the lyrics of the song. The way I'm playing the intro is my second finger is on the third fret of the first string, making our G chord, and then we're going down to the fourth fret on the top string or the fourth string. And then I'm using this finger for that chord. So it goes double thumbing, I only use that shape when I'm playing the intro. When I'm in the song, I go back to using my second finger for that chord. The PDFs for this lesson are available over at patreon.com forward stroke you Kamalan. Share, like, comment, and uh, if you haven't subscribed, please go ahead and do that. And remember to click the notification bell so you never miss a uke tutorial. Thanks so much for watching again, and I'll see you in the next one. Stay safe. There's a swirl in the sun And a swirl in the sky There's a smile on the face of everybody passing by